welcome back. New at 10, it's an unlikely friendship between an 82 year old man and a water snake. Oh, really? Okay, it's something you got to see to believe, so we're going to show it to you. Channel 6's Cole Johnson now joins us to introduce the unique duo. Hey, Chris and Leslie. Tim Jones worked in zoos for a large portion of his life and is even the director emeritus of the Cameron Park Zoo. He now lives near Blum, where his private pond is home to a water snake he calls Big Bertha. Off a gravel road near Blum sits the Jones property. There you'll find Tim fishing at his pond. I like that pond. I love water. And I love what's around a pond, frogs, toads, turtles, snakes. It isn't just a relaxing spot. It's also home to his friend of five years. I haven't seen you lately. Big Bertha. She's a pretty nice gal. I don't name animals usually, but uh, there's something about her. I started calling her Big Bertha. And then I said, well, Bertha May sounds better. An avid fisher, Tim started sharing his catches with the local reptiles. And they'd come eat it. And I, I kept on until they got closer and closer to me. Then some got pretty comfortable. A snake came from underneath, came up real slow, and took that fish out of my hand. I just about passed out. Tim knows they aren't a danger. That was my life, working with snakes. But he still draws the line with Bertha May. She'd come right up my leg and, and take a fish and she'd crawl in my lap if I'd let her. They have got uh, little little teeth that are sharp, about 160 of them, and they hurt when they bite. Uh, they do me because I'm a sissy. The pond is just down the way from his house. I go every day or every other day that I can. And after a little fishing, Tim will greet his friend. She earned it. And give Bertha May a bite to eat. Now, while I was out there today, I didn't get to see Big Bertha in person because of rain early in the day, but we did see some of the other water snakes, and Tim told us to get them near us. Since we weren't fishing, we had to make our hands look like dead fish and go like this, try and get them over to us, and it worked pretty surprisingly well, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Chris and Leslie. And then you stop doing that as soon as they start getting close, Yeah, right? no, then I was like, okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I don't know who he made mad in the newsroom to get pull that story, but I'm glad everybody's okay. Yeah, we'd Big like Bertha. to apologize on behalf of everyone at Channel 6, Cole, but good job today. And everyone who's afraid of snakes. Sorry about that. We'll be right back.